Good morning and welcome to Heartland Outdoor Living. This morning we're going to be doing a real quick video on a scrap wood challenge and something you can do to make your backyard shooting a lot more fun and you don't have to worry about laying your bow down on the ground. Again, this is all built with scrap wood and what it is is it's a bow caddy, if you will. And I'll kind of swing it around here and I'll show you guys some pictures of it but it's uh will hold two bows and then the way i cut this down it'll actually hold like your glove or tab or whatever depending on what you shoot and then it's got a little center cavity here where you can hold your arrows and again essentially this is just uh, real quick it's all made out of scrap wood you got the two two by fours that are going up and i'll show you the measurements here as we're cutting it down you got two two by four legs, which are made out of the leftover. It's, this is one scrap two by four that's eight foot long, roughly. So you can kind of adjust it down a little bit if you got one of the shorter studs, if you will. But this can all be made with scrap wood. And again, this is just a couple pieces of plywood on both sides, and then uh, that's pretty much it. I had two little pieces of cedar that was left over from a project and I just cut them down. I just kind of put a little wedge cut in them. I'll kind of show you this little wedge cut right here in the side just to make this a little bit thinner so you could hang a glove off. You could optionally also cut down some dowel rods and then just drill them into this upright. <coughs> two by four to hold your bow and or gloves, tabs, whatever with that. Or you can do just like this with a regular 2x4, not cut it down or cut it down, whichever you decide, and then put a couple of dowel rods here. I did have a scrap piece of leather laying around, so I used it for a strap for a handle so it makes it real easy to carry it. And uh, again, this thing works really nice. I'll kind of show you real quick while I'm talking. I'll kind of show you real quick just roughly how we put this all together. And then after I put it together, I painted it brown and then I didn't paint this since it's cedar. Cedar's supposed to be weatherproof if you will so it ought to last a uh, pretty good while even sitting outside but this is something that's actually nice enough you could bring it right inside when you get done shooting or leave it outside. Another thing I may end up doing on the top of this is just putting a leather strap across here so that way there's no chance of the wood scratching your bow but I will say with a cedar it's real soft and these risers are typically made out of wood that's much harder than cedar so it shouldn't scratch it but just to make sure that you're not going to affect the finish at all I'm probably going to go ahead and put just a little strip of leather on both sides of this as well so again guys that's a real quick video this morning on something you can do to make your backyard shooting a little more effective I, I get tired of laying my bow down on the ground and as you guys know, we do have dogs, so I don't really like laying my bow on the ground. It's, it's just, uh, this would be a much nicer way. I made one of these years ago out of metal, but I don't have the access to the welder and stuff like I used to have. And I thought, you know what, out of scrap wood, I can make one of these and it'll be just fine. I will say yesterday I was shooting, and as you know, here in Oklahoma, it gets real windy. And this thing was still plenty stable. It didn't blow over or fall over. It didn't knock the bows off or anything else. And I left my bow on it pretty much all day long outside because periodically what I like to do when I'm practicing, especially getting this much closer to the hunting season, um, just like this morning, I didn't leave it out overnight, but this morning I get up before I'm halfway done drinking my coffee, I'll go out and shoot a couple of times. Uh, just to see where I'm at. I like to do that in the middle of the afternoon if I'm home say on the weekend or whatever Just uh, look down at your watch. Okay, it's time to go shoot fire off four five three four Whatever you want to uh, arrows off in the backyard and just kind of test yourself engage yourself Where are you at and where are you? What do you need to do to better prepare yourself for the upcoming season because as you guys know when you're out in the field and something walks up on you, you're not going to be able to dictate that time. You're going to have to go when it's go time. And I like the element of surprise sometimes. Um, like say, I'll, I'll wake up from a nap and come out here or, or in between projects if I'm waiting on uh, something to dry or whatever else, I'll, I'll come out and shoot four or five rounds real quick. Again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. If you know anybody that's uh, needing something, this is something you could make for Christmas gifts or anything else. Uh, 
Share this video with your buddies, your friends, your family, anybody that you know that's into archery. This, like I say, instead of spending a lot of money on something to hold your bow, especially if you're shooting in the backyard, and this is heavy duty enough, you can throw it in your truck and take it to the range as well. So, again, scrapyard build. I'll throw the measurements down in the description below. And again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week.